Let's create a managed table and load data into it. We are going to load NYSE New York Stock Exchange data into managed table in Hive. Let us look at the data. Login into Hue. Go to File Browser and navigate to slash data slash nyse underscore daily slash nyse underscore daily. The first column is the name of exchange. Second column is stock symbol. Third column is the date at which we are recording the prices. Fourth column is opening price of a stock. The fifth column is the highest price. The sixth column is the lowest price. Seventh column is closing price. Eighth column is volume. And ninth column is adjusted closing price of the stock. And these values are separated by tab. Let's create the managed table. Copy the create table command displayed on the screen and paste it in the Hive query editor in Hue. Make sure that you have selected your database. In this command, we are defining the schema of NYSE table. And we are informing Hive that fields are terminated by a tab, which is slash T. While loading data, Hive will know that fields are terminated by tab. Click on Execute. Refresh the table list and we can see that NYSE table is created in our database. Let us see the metadata of the table. Type describe NYSE and click on execute. We can see the column names and data types. To see more low level details type describe formatted NYSE and click on execute. We can see the details like database name, owner name, created time, warehouse location, and table type. Let us see the table details in Metastore. Click on Data Browsers. Select Metastore Tables. Select your database. and then click on NYSE table. We can see the metadata in the columns and properties tab. Let us see the warehouse directory for NYSE table. Go to file browser and navigate to slash apps, slash hive, slash warehouse and select the directory with your database name. We can see NYSE directory inside our database directory. Let's go inside it by double clicking on it. Since we do not have any data in the table yet, we cannot see the files here. Let us load the data into NYSE table. We can load data either from local file system in Linux console or from HDFS. In most production scenarios, we will load data from HDFS as local file system cannot store big data. Please note that we will use Hive command line to load data from local file system as you will not be aware of the local file system. Let us load data from local file system. Copy NYSE underscore daily file from HDFS to your home directory in CloudX Lab Linux console. Type Hadoop space FS space dash copy to local space slash data slash NYSE underscore daily. Type LS NYSE underscore daily slash asterisk to check if data is copied. Launch Hive Shell by typing a command called Hive. Select your database and run 
load data local in path nyse underscore daily overwrite into table nyse this command will load nyse underscore daily data into nyse table in hive the overwrite keyword deletes the contents of the table if it is existing already and replaces it with the files specified in the file path press enter Please note that when we load the data from the local file system, it gets copied to the warehouse. Let's verify it. Go to file browser in Hue and navigate to slash apps slash hive slash warehouse. Select your database directory and click on NYSE. You can see that NYSE underscore daily file in the warehouse. To check the loaded data, type select star from NYSE in the Hive interface. Let us load data from HDFS in a manage table. Copy the command displayed on the screen and paste it in the Hive query editor and click on execute. It will create a managed table called NYSE underscore HDFS. Let us load data from HDFS in the NYSE underscore HDFS table. Copy data from slash data slash NYSE underscore daily directory in HDFS to your home directory in HDFS. Now run the command load data in path hdfs colon slash 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 user slash your username slash nyse underscore daily. Overwrite into table nyse underscore hdfs semicolon. This command will load data from nyse underscore daily file from your home directory in hdfs to nyse underscore hdfs table. Please note that when we load data from HDFS, it gets moved from HDFS to the warehouse directory. Let us verify it. Go to file browser and navigate to nyse underscore daily file in your home directory. nyse underscore daily file is not there anymore. Let us see if it is there in the warehouse. Navigate to slash apps slash hive slash warehouse. Select your database directory. Go inside NYSE underscore HDFS directory and click on NYSE underscore daily. We can see that the file is in the warehouse.